I was an extra in the Hunger Games Marking J Part 1. I know, I know, no autographs. I'm just a normal person like all of you. I put my pants on one nipple at a time and wipe my ass crack after a hard shit with both hands. But I figured I'd go into detail about this. I've talked about it on the official podcast a little bit, but I never really dove into what it meant to be the world's most spit on extra. When it comes to being a useless extra in a movie, I'm the cream of the crop. I'm the cream supreme. Does that mean that I'm the best actor in the entire world of acting? I like to think so, but on paper, nah, absolutely fucking not. So this, sto- this story starts like every other good story, every other fairy tale. I just drained my nuts at a hard jerk off session. That's not a joke because I genuinely did jerk off. And in that like brief five or ten minutes of just pure euphoria where you feel like you know everything in the universe, like you see the strings that hold it all together, I decided, you know what? I want to pursue some acting. So like every 21st century man, I turned to Google and I was looking up open casting calls and found one for Hunger Games Marking J Part 1. It was in Atlanta and they wanted headshots and full body shots shirtless. I didn't really know how to do this because I didn't have either of those and I didn't really want to ask my friends because Tinder wasn't exactly around at that time so I couldn't just play it off as Hey bro, I'm just trying to slay some punani out here, take these cool shirtless pics of me, let me flex real hard real quick. So I didn't want to ask my friends for anything like that so I thought it'd be significantly less weird to ask my dad to do it. So my dad was snapping some cool shirtless pictures of me like every good father and son relationship. But what I didn't think of at the time is my dad's six foot five, he's tall as shit, and I'm five foot six, I'm short as shit. And he was taking them at regular eye level. So he was looking down on me, which made me look even shorter than I am. So I looked like a fucking action figure in these photographs. They ended up choosing me to play an extra, and when I went to the fitting, they had a hard time actually getting me anything because they had already banked on me being four foot one. So I was kind of nice and flattering when they're like, wow, you're taller in person, because that's something I've never heard my entire fucking life. Usually it's wow. Yikes. But anyway, they, we do eventually find some clothes that fit me, luckily, as if that was a Herculean task. You could have just gone to Toys R Us and found some shit for me. But anyway, we move on from there. We go to the filming. It was about a week after the fitting. And the scene took place in this podunk shithole rust-filled factory that they were using for this location. I guess they had just nicely asked all the homeless people that lived there to leave and kindly asked the heroin addicts not to come back for the course of the next week. So anyway, the scene I'm in, Katniss goes to this factory. It's District 8. It's supposed to be a hospital where she's looking over shit. I'm going to play a clip from it here. Who to fight with us? Yep. Oh well. Here I played just a helping hand, some goofy goober who had no clue what he was doing but was supposed to be caring for a burn victim. They gave me a slight line to read. I guess it wasn't supposed to be like a sag type line side being screen actors guild we need three lines to automatically enter it so it doesn't doesn't really count uh, unfortunately and it never would have even if it did make the fucking final cut which it didn't i will never forgive them boycott hunger games because they took out my part but anyway my line was somewhere along the lines of uh, this girl needs help she's burned yikes oh shit to to bit of burn i don't know what i'm doing i'm not a doctor it's a burn the help basically just crying for help That didn't make the final cut, and neither did a lot of other people's lines. There's an elderly man next to me that had a line. You can actually see him in the final cut here. But anyway, I was on a mission to solidify a spot in the final cut of this movie, so I was doing everything necessary, no holds barred. If I had to start rimming people, I'd start rimming them. If I had to start flipping tables and wet willying bitches, I was going to do it. I was getting into this fucking movie's final cut, no matter what. So what I would do is I would chase around the action in my designated area, so the otherly man that had lines, I would keep scooting closer to him in between takes that way I'd be there. They didn't use his lines, so that slapped me right in my fucking face, unfortunately. I also really goofed around probably too hard. I, I would be like screaming kind of loud because I'd be chaotic, be wild. And I was just like, fuck, oh shit, fuck, sometimes. And obviously that did make the final cut. I thought there'd be a slim chance of that, though, maybe in the background like an Easter egg. But I didn't put too much real estate in that. I didn't expect that to make it. But what I did attempt and really thought would make it to the final cut is when this kid right here uh the kid who says are you here to fight are you gonna fight with this Katniss I was originally positioned where this one girl's head is poking out that was supposed to be me 
But my plan was, I knew this kid was going to be in the movie no matter what, because he's an actual actor. They paid him to do these lines. So my plan was to sit up as straight as possible, as erect as I've ever been in my life. The world's most perfect posture. So that way my head would be at like his titty level. So every time they'd have his lines going, you would see me. You'd have to see me. Unless they were going to fucking pixelate me like a UFO documentary, you were going to see me. But what they ended up doing is they told me to switch with the person they ended up putting there, which is this person that's poking their head out all very cautiously, just trying to avoid it. I was trying to get in it. They're trying to stay out of it. Uh, they changed me because I was blocking their shot. I was too intrusive. So they ended up putting me a little more ahead. That's not to say I didn't make the final cut, though. It was, at the end, of the end of the day, a mission successful. If you pause the movie right here, you can see my arm doing the... Uh, is it that? I don't remember. What, one, one of these, or whatever the fuck the, the symbol is for Hunger Games. But yeah, you can see me poking it out there. And uh, yeah, that that's, was my extra role in the Hunger Games marking J. And I probably ruined a little bit of that scene. Not by design, but I, I was out for number one. I was going to be the world's most impressive extra on this movie, unfortunately. They outsmarted me. But I do honestly kind of feel like maybe I did ruin a couple of the scenes that were supposed to be in there. Because, like I said, there was a lot more lines, but I'd keep, I'd keep fucking scooting closer to them. And I guess they probably didn't like me being in every single line. Which, honestly, I can totally understand. And that's not something that crossed my mind. I never thought that I would maybe potentially ruin someone else's line by just being there but I can totally see how that could have happened so if you did have a line in this movie that didn't make it and you suspect it's because I kept photobombing the shit out of it that's on me and I'm sorry about that but I mean hey it, it's Hollywood you know it's a dog eat ass world out there I was just gunning for it and it did not play it did not pan out the way I was hoping it would but uh anyway at least you can see my arm in there that's it see ya